next game we've got for you is Burnley against Everton. Burnley going into the game after that fantastic win over Manchester United this week. Uh, beat United 1-0, but they're still favourites for relegation of Burnley. They're 4-6 uh, to go down. Steve, how, how is it as a player going into a game four like this? 4-9 before that Man United they, game. They were, to be fair. It's ridiculous, isn't it? <laughs> it's a big Absolute, change, isn't it? We've got, you know, we've got 36 games left, <laughs> and we, the, the odds are changing. Yeah, it's crazy. And ridiculously <laughs> so. It's crazy. It, maybe maybe it's money. I don't know. Maybe it's weight of money. But uh, maybe uh, it's the bookies sort of like just playing, scared, <laughs> running scared all the time. It is a bit weird. It's What's crazy. it like as a player, Steve, when you've had a fantastic win like that against yeah. when you're huge underdogs and yeah. you won the match? Can you really focus on the next game? Yeah, you can because you can. it gives you. Yeah, certainly because as it, I mean, it's the old adage. It's only three points, and it, it's a fantastic task. But what it does, it makes you believe that you can then go and win the next game. Mm. It gives you that self belief to say, well, "Hold on a minute, if we can beat Man United, you know, particularly after getting beat at Stoke and beating beat up pretty badly, in all honesty, you know, never really mm. been in the game. This is a game they'll they'll be looking forward to, and against Everton, it's a great time to play Everton, isn't it? No doubt about that. Yeah, they, they have got problems, haven't they? They've got the Europa League game, yeah. but a bigger problem, I guess, is the situation with Jolie and Lescott. Yeah. It looks like well, it's, it's not, not just Lescott. Anymore, it's is it? He's gone now, so, you know. But do you think he, he will have disrupted the squad yes, in terms of, of their course. training? It's not and just about him, it's just about, yeah, you know, I'm sat in a dressing room and I've got a player that sat next to me who don't want to be there. Mm. It's awful. It's rubbish. Mm. Go on, off you go. It's fine, <laughs> he could be my best mate. Mm. But I've got a job to do here. I want to play. You know, I want players around me who want to be at this club. If you don't want to be here, then you've got to go. And, and, and good luck, to you. We'll get our money, um, but you've got to go sooner rather than later because you're not doing any good whatsoever if you're at my club mm. and you don't want to be here. So taking the Burnley situation into account with that yeah. great win and the Lescott, what would you be thinking on this game then? You think, well, I, uh, I, I think this will be a totally different game from you know from the Man United game for Burnley. But I maybe think. Everton at five to four are a bit too short, maybe. Possibly. Um, I, I don't know. Certainly Everton will have to get back to, back to the way that we know Everton. Mm. Let, let, I'll give you, a, I'll give you a, a, a perfect analogy of that game, Everton against Arsenal. I'll t give me, I'll draw a list up, OK? Mm. I, I'm not telling you who they're playing against, but Fabregas runs 45 yards, mm. not a tackle, not a runner with him. No one tracks his run and scores. Yeah. OK, now you, that's before that game. That's my, that's my analogy. I bet you now, if you didn't know who they were playing, Everton would not be any, they would be pretty bottom of the list yeah. in teams that you said that Arsenal were playing for Fabregas to do that. Absolutely. If Fabregas didn't play for Arsenal, I'd probably say Arsenal, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. But it was, but it if I'd have said to you Everton, you'd have fallen off this seat because it's just yeah. not, that is not what you associate with Everton. So that was not an Everton performance like we saw. I know there were three down at the time, but even at that stage, mm. you still expect people to do their jobs. You still expect people expect people to go with their runners. You know, you don't normally associate Everton, no matter what circumstance they're in, of giving up on anything easy. And that's what they did the other day. And to be, and to be doing that on the first day of the season, surely things have gone badly wrong in those last kind of yeah, 10 I days mean, before I think, the I season began. Let's be honest, it, it's very difficult. They haven't, they haven't added to their ranks again. Mm. You know, it, it's very difficult to, for, for players like that to play at the top of your game. Mm. For, for whatever time, you need reinforcements. You need people to come in that gives you that little bit of an uplift, you know, that little bit of thinking, yeah, we can go on again now. We can improve from last year. You know, we all know they, were, they did absolutely fantastic, but we all know they played to their absolute max. Mm. You know, and to ask them to repeat that again, very difficult. I was at one club, Millwall, and we did that for one season. Mm. We finished fourth in the, in the championship and lost out in the playoffs to go into the Premier League. But we knew the next year, unless we had reinforcements, we couldn't do that again. And we got beat six in our first game. Which yeah. is exactly the same. Yeah, so it's just that psychological, you're still trying to, to come to terms with, hold on, we haven't improved our ranks. Mm. You know, if anything, we've lost Jolie and lost Lescott because he's gone and you know, mentally he's gone. Mm. So we're weaker than we were last year. You know, and yet we played fantastically well. Jaggy Elka's not there. It's tough Big call. problems. They're going to have a different sort of game, obviously, yeah. uh, this week to what they, they had well, against Arsenal. It's more Arsenal. suited to them, isn't it? Away from home, blood and thunder, you know, get stuck into each other. It's but, more suited. But to also, them. If, they're, if their minds aren't right, Steve, and they're up against a team who are going yeah. to give so much, yeah. I mean, there's a risk that they, you know, they, they, they Absolutely, they, they will have one. to be competitive and they will have to do what they're good at mm. or they'll get beat again, Everton, there's no doubt about it. Well, well, what would you do, just looking at the betting, what would you do? I mean, would you consider laying Everton because they are such a short price, about five to four, away yeah, from home, I think it's a short. pretty, yeah, I mean, I, I, I still think there's enough in it to say that if Everton do bounce back, mm. they can win this game. Mm. So I'm, I'm not. I wouldn't really be in a position like last week when I was touting about lay Liverpool, lay mm. Liverpool six to five. I don't get that feeling in this one. You know, this, okay. this is a game that if Everton play well, they can win. Mm. 
It is tough. It's very tough, this one. We've had it's a not enough to go on, is it, James? You know, we can't go, how can we bet on Everton, who've just been beat 5-0? Yeah. It's not, you can't go on that. There's a lot of uh, ifs and buts on this match. We've, we've gone on the draw. Uh, that's the bet we picked out, but um, we're very hesitant on that. It's 23-10. to 10. Uh, As we've said, Everton, a uh, very short price, around 5-4. to four. Burnley are 13-5. to five. So if you think Burnley might nick something, there's certainly scope in that price to back them on the Asian handicap with a zero-goal start. You'd get that at odds against, and that would give you a safety net um, if the game finished all square. So that's our first bet. Our second bet is on under two and a half goals, and that's available at a price of five to six. You're watching Bet Republic's Premier League preview show with me, James Eastham, and Steve Claridge. And if you've just discovered Bet Republic, then after you finish watching the show, why not head over and find out everything else that the site's got to offer? You can set up your own profile and you can read all the latest football betting blogs. And if you want to place a few bets with us, you can simply click on the Bet UK link, which you'll find on the site.